If you're anything like me and you've been looking for a cheap wireless follow focus system, you've probably come across at least one of these three. Well, I had kind of a hard time making up my mind, so after a while I just decided to get one of each and try them out for myself. So I thought I might share my experience with these three and uh, which one I eventually decided to keep. So starting off with the PD movie Live Air. This one has been around for about a year and when it came out it was about $500 but now with the Nucleus N and the iFocus on the market the Live Air has gone down significantly in price to kind of match the competition. With that being said, does this hold up? I don't really think it does. I mean, the only scenario is if you're using one of the two-handed gimbals or something like that, because this is really only meant as a thumb controller. So if, if you're a single operator, this is a great option. So it does have uh, quite a bit of latency. The reason I decided to give this a chance was because the motor has interchangeable batteries, which I thought was pretty interesting. It comes with two batteries included, but the focus unit has an internal battery. As for the Ronin S motor, I'm ruling this one out straight out of the gate because it's not actually wireless and it's only compatible with the Ronin S which I just don't use enough to justify keeping this. Over to the Tiltan Nucleus Nano. I love the design of this hand unit. It's uh, super comfortable to work with and it's easy to use. It has a ring for witness markings and uh, it's powered by an internal battery and in my experience it lasts about half a day. So two batteries usually last me a whole shoot. So the main issue with the Nucleus Nano is the motor itself because it requires external power. I mean, this is pretty common with focus motors in general, but the main issue is that it uses a micro USB port and when Tilta launched the Nucleus N they didn't really have a good solution straight out of the gate. They do have a D-Tap to micro USB cable but that was out of stock for a very long time. Now they're readily available so that's not really an issue anymore. But if you don't have a V-mount battery, that's going to be a problem. Because if you're not powering it from a V-mount battery with D-tap, you're not going to get full power out of the motor. When you're not getting full power, it has quite a bit of latency. And, and as you can see, there's a lot of lag if you're trying to do a full turn. I do think it works quite well when you're just doing regular focus pulls, but if you require full turns, it does lag quite a bit. Over to the Mosa iFocus. This one has internal batteries, both in the follow focus unit and in the motor itself. And it has a really strong signal. So there's not a lot of noticeable latency at all in this. And uh, overall, it, it really works great out of the box. Just like the Nucleus N controller, it has a ring for witness markings, but otherwise I really just don't like the focus unit as well. I have found that the battery indicator in the controller, at least for me, can be kind of unreliable. So in this example here, it, it jumps from one bar to three bars to one bar again, which is kind of disconcerting but even so I was using it for about three hours after this without issues and the battery does last quite a while in both the motor and the unit. The focus unit is kind of limiting in its mounting abilities because it only has this clamp that uh, just feels kind of limiting. On the Nucleus Nano I love this quick release system they have. You can get a mount from a smaller rig that works really great and you can mount it pretty much anywhere on your rig. The great thing about the Nucleus Nano is you can use it on pretty much any gimbal at all. So the, the iFocus is 
It's not really compatible with uh, any gimbals except for Mosa's own gimbal. So if you're using the Mosa Air 2, I guess this would be the best option because it has a non-removable focus wheel. So, you know, you're kind of stuck with this choice. So if you don't have the mount battery or any other good solution to power the nucleus and motor, then I, I would say the Mosa iFocus is the best option. I really wish I could keep the Nucleus Nano, but I don't I, I don't have any plans to get a D-mount battery anytime soon and right now the the iFocus is the best option and if you want something for a dedicated focus puller and you can't quite afford the Nucleus M then I, I would say the the Mosa iFocus is is definitely the best solution and it's the one that I've decided to keep so I will be selling the Nucleus and the Live Air. I hope you found this helpful, you can hit me up if, with any questions and uh, if this in any way helped you with your choice consider using the affiliate links below or just subscribe for more and have a good one.